Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna. Today we're talking about what I have planned for the next couple of weeks with my business. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to do it, why I'm doing it, and what I hope to accomplish. So, what am I doing? I am going to be taking my U.S. closet and delisting it and then relisting the entire thing. And when I say entire, it doesn't mean 100%. I gotta be honest, it's gonna be, I think right now my available listings on Posh US is 665. So I'm thinking at least 650 listings will be dealt with. I'm gonna do it in stages because I can't just delist 650 listings and then relist them all. I'm gonna be doing it in stages. How am I going to do I'm going to do it with Posh Canada as well, I should say. I'm going to go back and do it with Posh Canada after the U.S. is done. How am I doing it? I'm going to use my cross-lister. I'm going to use cross-list magic, Chrome extension, one at a time. So it's going to be time-consuming. But why am I using it that way instead of a different way? And why am I doing this whole thing to begin with? I'm using it one at a time, my cross-list magic one at a time so that I can edit all of the listings, so that I can double check the title and make sure there's keywords and make sure there's measurements and make sure the description is up to par and make sure the photographs are good. I don't want bad photographs. I think since we moved out of the office space, my photographs have suffered a bit. So I just want to double check that they're okay. Also, I want to make sure there's no spelling mistakes. And I want to make sure that they have an inventory designation because that makes my life so much easier when something sells and I can find it. <laughs> so I want to make sure all of that is done. And this is just another part of doing my inventory like I've been doing for the last like month. So one of the and, and pricing, I want to make sure that the market value is still there and change any pricing, whatever that is. Also, I'm going to be adding tags, keyword tags to the bottom of the listing something that I did start before, but I have fallen off the wagon with it. So I want to make sure that everything is sort of there. So I'm going to cross list from Posh Canada. It's going to pop up on Posh US, do all the edits, list it. Okay. Continue all that until Posh US is completely done and I'm satisfied with it. That's going to take the longest amount of time because that's where all the editing will take place. Then I'm going to take and go from the US to Posh Canada, which should be a lot faster because the edits are already done. At least that's what I'm hoping. So another reason I'm doing it um, is because right now I have the time. Sales are still a little bit slow. And when sales are slow, I don't wanna be sourcing a lot. So this will help me get brand new listings. Now I still have a bit of a death pile. As you can see, my shoes from the other day are still down there. I still have, I'm gonna say, Maybe about 40, maybe 50 at the very, very most items that I still need to photograph and get up and listed. So I am going to be doing that in a couple of weeks as well, because it's important to get that done. And if I find that if I source, those are the things I want to photograph. Do you know what I mean? So I want to, I want to start the new year. I'm going to say the new year, because for me, September is more of a new year, fresh start fourth quarter is coming. I want to make sure that I'm up and ready and organized all for that. So I'm going to be doing that. So I will still take, do some, some death pile new photographs, but this is a way for me to get brand new listings up on Poshmark consistently. And then honestly, in two weeks, if I can do 600 new listings, that's pretty phenomenal. We're going to see what happens. So what do I hope that this accomplishes? Number one is activity. Poshmark loves activity and you know what? I want to give it to them and I want to do things, but I want to do it in my time in the way I want to do it. So along with sharing and sending out offers and everything else, I want to make sure that I'm doing lots and lots of different things on the app every single day. So this will help accomplish that organization. I'm going to make sure that everything has an inventory designation. So when it sells, I know where to find it because nothing kills my mood more if I can't find something and I have to go through every single file cabinet drawer. And yes, that's happened. Usually happens to people. It has happened to people. Maybe not everyone, but it does happen. Another thing that I think will come out of this is that 
for the most part, the majority of my closets will have a specific time frame of when they were brand new listings. So Posh US will be, say, next week. So between July 22nd and July 29th, that's seven days, kind of thing. And I will know that. And that's really good when I'm sending out offers or if I'm going to be doing, kidding, um, closet clearouts. I know when these have been listed. You are a poop head today, right? And for me, I haven't been organized enough to know that. Like I have a general idea that, yeah, that's an older listing. But this will give me a little bit better handle on it. So then I can have an offer to like or strategy. And I want to build that into my business instead of just being willy nilly about my offers. So right now I have my posh sidekick set up to send offers. Say hi. Hi. Anyway, I have posh sidekick set up to send offers. I send out 15% my very first offer. I want to set up a, a strategy where at two weeks I send out 20%, three, uh, four weeks, I think of four weeks, 30%, five weeks or six weeks, 40%, something to that degree. I haven't got it nailed down exactly what strategy I'm going to be using, but I will have a better idea of what's happening within my business with that, with having everything listed about the same time. So I'm really excited about doing that. Um, one of the reasons, another reason that I was doing this is on today's Saturday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I went to Posh US and I sent out about a hundred 40% off offers, 40%. And I think I got one sale. I got one sale from it, which is whatever, but I'm like 40%. And some of those offers didn't go through because I don't know. So I don't know, like to me, that was like, everybody should be buying at 40% off. And I thought, okay, you know what? Let's get a handle on this. Let's get organized. So I want to set up some sort of pricing strategy where I know, okay, it's this day. I'm going to set out this offer or it's this day, then this will happen. So hopefully that will result in a more constant flow of sales because right now, sales are slow they're like july has been really really bad like bad like i think was it april or may that was really bad just a little while ago so it's been bad again so we'll see what happens but hopefully i'll get organized and things will start to start selling a little bit better i'm also going to be focusing more on fall and winter now and trying to get rid of some of my summer items because you know what people aren't buying them the, okay I am a firm believer that you should be listing whatever, whenever Christmas sells in July, Halloween will sell in May kind of thing. 100%. I agree with that. And I think you should have some summer stuff and some winter stuff in your closets or stores at all times. I think that helps. But sourcing wise, I might pick up a few, you know, at the end of the season, pick up a few summer items because some people will start to purge at that time. So you might be able to get some really good things. But my main focus now in July in this heat is looking at fall back to school, that kind of thing. So being organized like this will help me to know what I need in my closet. Because I did find at the beginning of summer that I didn't have a lot of summer items like at all. So refreshing my brain and knowing what's in my closet in a sort of seasonal type thing, I think will help as well. I mean, the whole thing is just to be organized and to know, okay, this has been in my closet now for a year and a half. Nobody's liked it. Nobody's getting any attention to it. Let's get rid of it. Let's do something with it. So that's what I'm hoping to accomplish. Wish me luck because it will be time consuming. It's going to be a lot of time sitting at my computer, which I don't mind sometimes. Maybe I'll put on some music. We'll see. Sometimes that distracts me. But anyway, today is Saturday. Uh, Paul's gone off to a town wide garage sale about an hour away, which is fine. That means I'm alone and enjoying that. I have some house things to do. I'm going to do a little bit of listing maybe later, but that's about it. I'm going to be doing some house stuff. I'm going to go out in the lawn. It's a beautiful day 
out in the lawn, do some gardening, and um, probably have a couple of adult beverages at the end of the day. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I will be, probably be back about Monday or so, okay? So I'll see you then. Bye.